Stories that impact your life. We are Fox 61 News. All right, it's 913. Uh, baby formula makers from outside the United States will be granted access by the Food and Drug Administration to continue selling their products in the U.S. The changes could wind up preventing any future disruptions in formula supplies. Guidelines will be issued in September to help outline how these companies can meet FDA requirements. Mind you, they were only given emergency authorization to sell to try to alleviate the current shortage. So again, this is something that, that they may try to make more permanent. Meanwhile, Operation Fly Formula by the U.S. government will bring 318,000 pounds of an Australian infant formula named Bubs to the U.S. It's going to happen on two flights, one on July 10th, the other on July 21st. The global hunger crisis continues, and it's putting billions of lives at risk. Fox News correspondent Kevin Cork has a look at the new United Nations report, spelling out the massive consequences that could be facing the U.S. and the world if this problem is not resolved. World hunger is dramatically on the rise and poses catastrophic consequences. That's the message from the United Nations, which on Wednesday released a brand new report citing roughly 2.3 billion people faced moderate to severe difficulty in finding enough to eat last year. Hunger, food security, and malnutrition in all its forms are an urgent global concern. The report identifies COVID-19, the war between Russia and Ukraine, and climate change as the top factors contributing to the ongoing crisis, with UNICEF listing 15 countries most affected by hunger, including Afghanistan, Haiti, Ethiopia, and Kenya. In the 15 countries most affected by the crisis, UNICEF estimates that 8 million children under the age of 5 are suffering from severe wasting. In the U.S., data from the USDA shows more than 38 million people, including 12 million children, face food insecurity. Meanwhile, the head of the U.N. World Food Program says around 50 million people in 45 countries are, quote, one step away from famine, adding inflated costs of food, fuel, and fertilizer exacerbated by the war in Ukraine will trigger global destabilization, starvation, and mass migration on an unprecedented scale. The U.N. Secretary General is trying to draft plans to help Ukraine and Russia resume normal exports of wheat, grain, and fertilizer to the international community amid the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. I'm Kevin Cork, Fox News. Kevin, thank you. Now, researchers at two European universities working on a study say that hunger can create what's called hanger, which we've heard of being hangry, right? In an emotional state where you're irritable yes. and uh, actually can experience less pleasure. Now, scientists say the relationship between hunger and anger remained even when accounting for factors like age, body mass index, and diet. How much did that study cost? <laughs> yeah. I they well, they, told they, 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 they clearly told didn't that. spend it on right. food. Yeah. They could talk to me at about 11.30 every morning. <laughs> well, two amazing rescues caught on camera. The first happening in New Jersey when two officers pulled a man from his burning car. Check this out. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Goodness. Mm. Well, police say when they arrived on the scene, the man was not able to open his doors to escape because of an electrical issue. Police tried to put out the flames with a fire extinguisher, and that didn't work. They got the man out the window. Thank goodness, and in just the nick of time, the victim was treated for his injuries and released. We've got another similar video to show you. My producer, Ed Ford, just said, wait, this one's even better. It's of police rescuing several people from a burning building in Madison, Indiana. Oh, and they got her. Wow. Officers arrived at the Another scene one? Sunday yeah. and encouraged people in the building, several of them young children, to jump to safety. Not easy for oh. if you understand right. physics to catch people like that. Local media reports that multiple people were trapped inside an apartment on an upper floor and were able to escape after the stairway caught fire so they couldn't go down there. They jumped their way out to safety. 
thanks to those officers, and it looks like some bystanders as well. Mm -hmm. Still no word on what caused the building to go up in flames, but. Still, there's another one. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Yeah. Um. Mm. We the, try to always highlight those stories as well, too. Well, you know, police we, officers get very criticized these days. Yes. I want to make sure, boy, we, we are always showing when they... They save well, lives they every well, single day. Uh -huh. Well, and I think since the, uh, you know, introduction of, of body cam technology, I'm, I'm surprised we don't see more good... I mean, I'm not rooting for burning fires yeah. or, you know, fi uh, fires in buildings or cars, but I mean, it's obviously. But it's nice to see the happy endings. We've had a few of those on the air this morning. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Woo. We have them, I think, more than even we think. Mm -hmm. There was a time I was sort of counting them were because you? people yeah. were complaining. Yeah. Like, almost Between every day. Between those and the morning bright yeah. spots well, and a lot of the stories that mm -hmm. Keith the, the, does, the world, we try and highlight world, as much good as possible. The world is not all bad. I mean, uh, you know, no one's saying it is. Yeah. Unfortunately, we, we have to give you, you know, the, the reality check sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, but, yeah.